My name is Anisha and I'm a third year medical student at the Yale School of Medicine. Um, so hearing about your plans and your ideas for practical applications have been really incredible. Um, I was curious what you feel is the role of scientists, not just in educating and communicating with the public, but also in combating this, this misinformation. And mm -hmm. if you feel that as a Nobel laureate, you also um, have a role to play in this. Honestly, that is also the reason, you know, why the Nobel Foundation here, but also why I go often you know have these public events or where we try to advocate the importance of science and why i go to public events a lot also on television and so the message should be clear eh? if we want to fly airplanes in the future how are we going to do that if we want electric cars if we want to have better drugs if we want to have uh, health problems with the aging population and so they don't drop from the air covid I had lengthy discussions about that because you get all these questions about COVID. Oh, this cannot be good because it was developed in one year. Come on, it was in the 80s when Catalin Carrigo, you know, and so did the messenger RNA technology. And it took 40 years that we building up decades, you know, of knowledge that we could now uh, make a, a, a vaccine within a year. And I tried to advocate this message and say, look, you can have all kinds of beliefs and I respect everybody. But it's better to build things on facts, data and insight. And I think it is a tremendous duty of the universities, of we as scholars, in particular also you, you know, as young scholars, to make this clear to everybody. Because you cannot expect that everybody understands, you know, what scientists are doing and why we need that and how you develop a new pharmaceutical or a new material or a new fuel for your plate. So I, more than ever, think this is really important for all of us. The duty of the university goes well beyond just doing science and knowledge, but also bringing the message to the general public yeah? and advocate, build your opinion on facts and data and insight and knowledge.